We did it, Millie. We did it. We did it. Yay. Yay. Guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are back on our shop build. Super stoked. In the last video, we got this ginormous garage door cut out of the shop. We got it all framed in. Uh, shop didn't fall down, so that is a good thing. In today's video, it is time to start attacking these doors. Uh, it's a little cold here in North Carolina, nothing like Wyoming was, but uh, it's chilly. Uh, the humidity's a little bit of a different breed here. Uh, so it is time to get these doors on. I'm going with a, they're gonna be big. Uh, obviously the door's big. But I'm going with uh, completely insulated. I'm gonna build it myself. Regular hinge doors. Um, I think that's gonna be my best route with these uh, instead of trying to go with, like a, I, I consider it a roll up garage door. Don't want a regular like garage door because I want the ceiling height. I need the ceiling height for uh, potential lift in the future. So didn't want to take up any space up top. Um, there was, they have the self rolling doors like where they roll up into this little uh, cylinder thing. But uh, decide didn't want that. It's gonna be super flimsy. Uh, if there's any wind, it's gonna make a lot of noise and they're not very insulated. And uh, like I mentioned earlier in uh, previous videos, um, keeping this place cool and hot is gonna be super important and it's already been difficult and it's just gonna get even more difficult having a huge door. So we need to make sure that this thing is sealed tight and insulated well. So. First thing we're gonna do today is get the door measured out and start getting these things framed up. So check this thing out. We got both of the doors cut, pretty much framed up. Uh, I got them test fitted, and I'd say for never making doors before, they actually turned out halfway decent. We got this gap looking great over here. If you check this one out over here, seems to be pretty even. The only gap that I'm not super stoked about is my middle one. Uh, they're both squared out. I'm assuming. Uh, the garage door itself might be a little off, but not a big deal, guys. Once we have them completely built out, I plan on putting a piece of trim on the outside that is gonna overlap with the other door. So this gap in terms of letting air in will not be a big deal. Now it's time to pull these doors out. I'm gonna do a couple more cross bracing, obviously with the wood that we're using. We got plywood sheathing. They're gonna be heavy. Uh, so I need to make sure that I have these things braced up uh, the best as I possibly can. And then from there, it's sheeting and hanging these things for good. Oh! Oh! oh. Freaking butter. So guys, check these things out. Got it all braced up. The framing is officially complete and I am very happy for it because to make some of those cuts, circular saw is not a ton of fun. But uh, man, I really hope in my head, I think this is overkill, um, but they are gonna be really heavy doors. They're already pretty heavy. But yeah. Overall, I'm really happy with how these things are turning out so far. Um, they seem to fit 
height, which I do like. I did measure, so I compensated, uh, you know, from width and height. I know you're supposed to leave a little room. Uh, I want to keep this place super uh, sealed up and I don't want to uh, run into issues further down the road with uh, trying to get those doors to seal up. So I'm trying to do the best job I can right now uh, with what I got. Overall though, super happy with how these things are turning out, but it is late. We kind of got a late start to this video. Uh, the wife is inside and keeps bugging me to get inside. So uh, I better wrap it up and uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow. All right guys, so it is the next day today and it's a little chilly, um, but that's all right. Cause once we get these doors up, we can get these heaters turned back on and it's gonna be awesome. Next step now is to start doing the outside of the wall. So I got some plywood over here. I also got some framing, um, kind of got a funky plan for it. So uh, hopefully it turns out all right. Let's stop talking and let's get these doors put up. guys so this definitely escalated a little bit i decided that i wanted the hinges on the door the part of the hinge on the door to be hidden i thought it would look nice um and uh, i've learned a lot this was my first attempt <laughs> as you can see pretty bad uh i tried to just go with a uh flat disc grinder and uh that looked pretty terrible so my next strategy I went with my circular saw and then chiseled them out and uh, those turned out a lot better. So basically, uh, I'm uh, making this way more complicated than it has to be, but it's, I do think it's gonna be pretty nice. Um, hey, this project, I am, uh, I just wanna, I just wanna say this. I feel like I'm getting a taste of like all the different trades. Obviously I like working on cars. I did a little bit of masonry work and now I'm doing some carpentry and uh, y'all can keep it. Huge kudos to uh, both trades. This is something else. Uh, takes a lot of patience, but it is cool kind of putting in the work, putting in the thought and then stepping back and seeing uh, it kind of come together. So uh, hopefully I'm doing this right. I also, at the very top on this piece of trim, I left a two inch uh, gap up top. So I, I wound up cutting that piece of board and I left two inches for overlap on the door. So that should seal up really nice. Other than that, I really hope this goes well. I hope I'm not uh, not thinking of something and I'm gonna have to redo it all. So, uh, so far so good. Uh, time to keep trucking. Well guys, check this thing out. We are officially done with the outside of one door. <laughs> I will tell you guys what, I am definitely, you know, this is not stuff I do a lot, uh, is the woodworking, making doors, uh, all that funky jazz. Definitely learning curve, um, but I do think it turned out really good. Definitely had to redo a couple things, had to add a couple stuff. Uh, didn't quite think about uh, supports for the full, 
the corners of the plywood to sit on. So had to throw in a couple more two by fours uh, for that. Really for the most part. Oh, and also didn't take into account for how thick my plywood was. Uh, originally, I didn't, it wasn't planned to hide the hinges like this. Uh, it was kind of a thought that I had literally last night and uh, I went with it. Um, but with that, um, that plywood, you know, all my trim, I notched out, fit perfectly over the hinges. Um, the plywood wasn't thick enough though. So the bolts are stick up higher than the plywood. So it's actually flush. It's, so uh, I took my time, measured and drilled a couple holes just the size of the uh, hex bolts for the hinges. And it actually doesn't look bad. I was kind of upset about that, but um, it doesn't look bad at all. Given the fact that it's flush, I was gonna be upset if it stuck out, but uh, it didn't. So that, that worked out awesome. Um, and for my plywood, there wasn't any like funky cutting involved. Uh, I was definitely expecting to have to do like, you know, I was gonna measure it out and one side was gonna be longer than the other side and I was gonna have to make it all weird, but everything equaled out and uh, it all cut pretty well and it just took a long time. It was a little bit of a learning curve. I'm not gonna lie, it, a couple things got put on and taken back off a couple times. I think it turned out great. Uh, it was a lot of work. Um, we still got another one to do, so I am going to push this one off to the side and we'll get started on the next one. All right guys, so check this out. Both doors are uh, knocked out, all ready to go. I'm now looking at my posts here and I have changed my plans a little bit. So something that I didn't take into consideration didn't know I needed to take into consideration is the holes for the hinges for the outside. So after measuring them out, one hole, the most inside hole, the center of it is like right on the edge of that. And the other one is pretty much the same situation. So that kind of sucks uh, given the fact that the spacing for the door in terms of the doorway, um, like I built the doors for that. And now that the doors are done and it wasn't even like I thought, like I said, I was just kind of standing back, literally about to hang these things. And I was like, oh, let me just make sure, you know, where I'm gonna pre-drill my holes is gonna be okay. And it's not okay. Uh, at least I don't think it's okay. Um, in my head, they need to be in the center of those uh, two by fours and they're like in the crease, um, which is no bueno and that sucks. Um, but that's okay because we have a solution. So I went to town and uh, basically what I came up with is I'm going to put a two by six on the outside of both sides. And uh, I bought shorter, they're still like, I think two and a half inch lag bolts. Um, so I'm going to lag bolt, screw, and nail those two by sixes to the outside. And then I'm going to lag bolt the doors to the two by six. Um, I can't think of any other better solution than that. Uh, in my head, that'll be plenty strong enough uh, to hold it up. I mean, considering you have 15 lag bolts in these hinges. A little bit of a uh, setback but not a big deal. Two by six is on the outside and I'm gonna do a two by 10 on top because obviously I left a gap. So I, I left an overhang on the top of the doors to seal to the top uh, header. But now that the door is gonna be out another inch and a half, I needed another piece of wood. And it's actually worked out perfect because I took all the siding off the top and I didn't want the siding on the top. Uh, I thought it looked goofy. Uh, so now I get to actually put like a two by 10 and it pretty much runs up to the plastic on the top. All in all, I think it'll work out. It has to work out because we don't really have much of a choice now. So I am going to throw these, uh, throw this wood up and we're gonna get these doors hung. doing things that you've never done before, like a car, 
When I do sketchy stuff, I know it. Like, I know I'm doing something sketchy. Stuff like this, like, this plan in my head, like, is overkill. But, I know there's probably something I'm not thinking of, and it worries me. I'm really hoping that whenever this video comes out, that y'all are like, oh, that was way too much work to do. You didn't have to do all that. Instead of, just probably not staying in that shop. I hope that doesn't happen. I don't know. Gonna find out. I guess it's why she said yes. When I got down on you. Have you heard, my friend? Have you heard, my friend? For shins. Now, I have it pressed all the way up. Because naturally, from what I saw, it's going to sag a little bit no matter what. Hopefully, it just sets down right into place. Hopefully, it doesn't just fall off the truck. It is officially on its own weight. I think it freaking worked! Hold on. Hold on. Dude. Heck. Freaking yes. We did it, Mel! We did it! We did it! Yay! Yay! Plan came together. I don't see it. It doesn't seem like it's sacking. I mean, I guess it's going to be with time where we're going to see if it really sags or not. But it'll sit out there. It looks freaking, it looks killer. I know the inside's ugly. I braced the heck out of this thing. But it looks killer. I've never built a door before. And uh, I'm, free. I'm so stoked. So stoked. I gotta get the other one on. Uh, I'm not gonna put this in uh, much detail. I'm just gonna throw this sucker on and I'm gonna show you guys when it's done. <laughs> Man, this is gonna be if they close together. Let's see if it opens first. A lot of stuff back here. Dude. Dude. This one opens better than that one did. Yes. What did we do? Oh my glory. That fits so nice. I'm freaking stoked. My overlap on the top is great. Honestly, they're so tight. Like, I don't know if you guys can see that, but like, that is pretty good. Like, that is great fitness. Except for that gap, which I, again, my overlap covers it. And you wanna know what's even cooler? So a big reason why I wanted to uh, hang them before doing the back is if these gaps were jacked up at all, top, bottom, whatever, my I'm, I'm, I'm doing the same thing pretty much to this side. Um, I'm going to insulate it all and then we're going to sheet it with the trim. I can make, you know, make sure the door's completely closed and I can make this like you can never see anything in it. And uh, it's going to be great. They fit awesome. I think for never doing it before, I, I don't think they turned out bad at all. I think they look good. Like, Look at this. That was my big goal today was to get these things hung. Um, we got a lot of work done. I've been working literally all day uh, to get these things hung up. 
I finally turn all my heaters back on and not freeze my butt off every morning when I come out here. But that's probably gonna be a wrap for today's video. I think uh, that's a good note to end it on right there. Uh, next video, I want to finish these doors completely. And I also want to get all the rest of this drywall done. And then finally, we will be back to how we started before I decided to go down this endeavor. So super, super blessed for all the love and support you guys have been uh, showing. Uh, if you like what we're doing here, if you like uh, what our goal is, what we're representing, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Uh, go follow us on Instagram at Windsor's Wheels, TikTok, Windsor's Wheels. Uh, we post a lot of our first looks on Instagram. So uh, if you guys are interested in that, go check it out. Uh, try to make cool TikToks too. Uh, a lot of Charger content, uh, just a lot of Camaro content, just everything, uh, everything I can get my hands on. But guys, again, uh, super grateful, super blessed. The man has a plan. Uh, the man has a plan and I'm all for it. I love uh, where he's taken us so far, where we're going. And I'm really excited to see uh, what the future holds for us. So I hope you guys have a great night and I will see you next time.